Hi everybody. I know a lot of us are new to the concept of working remotely, so I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about home office electrical safety. So one of the first things you're going to need to do is figure out where you're going to set up your new workstation. Ideally, you'll be able to set it up in a place that's near a power supply, near a wall outlet. But it's possible that you won't have a place near there and you may be inclined to use an extension cord. Generally speaking, extension cords are not a good alternative, and there's a couple reasons why. Rule number one, most of us have what we call two-wire extension cords, which are cords that just have two wires and two prongs for each plug. These are just not safe, not to mention the fact that most of your computer equipment actually has three prongs, so it's not going to work anyways. The second thing to keep in mind is that extension cords are actually only intended to be used as a temporary power supply. Meaning, if you are going to use one, you actually need to unplug it at the end of each day. That's a habit that most people probably aren't going to get into, so it's a good idea to just not use them to begin with. However, if you have no other alternative, please make sure that the extension cord you do use is a three-prong, three-wire extension cord that is in good repair. The insulation is intact and it has no exposed wires. What you don't want to use is an extension cord that looks anything like this. This one has not been maintained and repaired well, so it just needs to be thrown in the trash. After you've figured out where you want to put your workstation, we need to make sure that we're not plugging too many things into the wall outlet unsafely. So in an ideal world, we only have two plugs to go into the two uh, receptacle outlet. And for most of us, that's probably sufficient. You'll have the computer itself and the monitor, and that's it. But there's many people that have a lot more equipment in their workstation, such as dual monitors, a printer, a scanner, and therefore two outlets just isn't enough. So what you may be inclined to do is use a multiple outlet adapter like this. Again, this is not the safe alternative to gain more outlets. If you do have to use more than two outlets, what you should be using is a surge protector. Now, the first thing to keep in mind is that a surge protector is different than a power strip. A power strip looks very similar in that it has multiple receptacles, but a true surge protector actually has built-in safety devices that will shut off power to the power strip uh, in the event of a power surge or other electrical failure. Uh, so again, make sure that you're using a true surge protector. It will have usually a surge indication on the strip itself, and it may even have a reset switch to reset it after it's been tripped. And finally, even if and when you are using all of the safe equipment appropriately, we need to be cognizant of not plugging too many things in at once and not creating other hazards. So the first thing to keep in mind is that we want to make sure we keep all cords open. What I mean by that is you don't want to keep cords bound up like this. This generates a lot of heat. So we want to use all cords, whether they're from an extension cord or your surge protector or your equipment itself, open like this. The second thing to keep in mind is to clear the space where the plugs are plugged in from clutter. So don't shove boxes or other items in front of it. Keep it clear so that air can ventilate and circulate around the equipment to dissipate heat. And finally, it's important to make sure that we're not including too many personal items in our workstation. As much as we like to include things that help make our work environment more friendly, more fun, maybe help uh, give a little bit of mental break, these things might be fun to do, but we really need to focus on keeping our workstation with just the critical equipment we need to be productive. Just the critical equipment. That's it, everybody. Stay safe.